Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm standing in a brand new Titanium Series 2022 Timber Ridge 25 RDS. So I know I say this every time, but this is honestly my absolute favorite Timber Ridge floor plan. Um, I had a similar model a few years ago and I absolutely loved it. I think if you had a list of all the perfect things about a certain trailer, this one will check the most boxes. Storage, windows, natural light, counter space, all of it. Great bathroom. So in my opinion, this is one of the best models. I mean, that they make a bunch for you know all different tastes, but personally, this is my favorite. So it's a two-door model. You walk in the rear door and you have this dinette in the rear with the windows. So as opposed to having chairs in the rear or the kitchen in the rear, what I found was awesome about the rear dinette is that I would tend to look out the window more often if I'm sitting at a dinette drinking my coffee. Maybe I'm answering emails, maybe I'm reading a book, but when you're sitting here, you're also utilizing the view. So it wasn't just when I was cooking and then you know chairs sometimes are facing the wrong way. So I just feel like this is a very good use of the rear view that you're gonna get. So that's one thing I love about it. Um, you can get this model with either the theater seating or the sleeper sofa. I've had people ask if you can put chairs here. You can, they'll fit, but personally, um, if you've never sat in either, uh, I would highly recommend the theater seating. It's just a little bit more comfortable, um, has a little bit, it's a bigger seating area. So for somebody who's tall, not like me, I fit just fine in a chair, but some of our men, they need the theater seating just because of the height. So theater seating is what we option into them. Uh, but personally, I have kids. I would need the sleeper sofa here so that I can fold it out and sleep children or adults, whatever. So you can get the sleeper sofa here as well. Um, when I was talking about storage on this model, this is one part of it. So this is a big pantry for a Timber Ridge size trailer. So that's something that again, you could use this for dry food, but you can also Again, three kids, I have stacked all their clothes and then they each have their own section. Or for some of us women who like to take a lot of clothes, that's a good option for that as well. And then a drawer right under here. Over in the kitchen, often in a trailer, this is about all the counter space you're gonna get, right? So you've got the flip up countertop extension, but in the 25 RDS, not only do you have a bank of drawers, you've got all this storage under here, some drawers over here, you also get this chunk of counter space. Along with this chunk of counter space, you end up with this huge storage area, which is why I can put clothes in there because I can fit all my food in here. And then this overhead storage area as well. And because this is a titanium series, you're gonna get the raised panel, solid hardwood doors, the stainless steel oven, stainless steel microwave. And then also this is the oven that has the direct spark ignition on the oven itself. So not just the stovetop, but the oven. You always get a knife rack, solid surface countertops. The titanium comes with the high arc faucet with the pullout. And then all of the outdoors RVs come with a stainless steel sink with the rack in the bottom to protect the sink as well as covers. Over here, normally we would option in a fireplace right here. This particular model uh, was ordered without one. So the customer that pre-ordered this unit did not want that because they wanted the storage. So if you're wondering how much storage you get in place of the fireplace, that's about what you're looking at. So it's good for board games if you turn them up, DVDs, books, that sort of thing. You have an outlet here for a 12 volt plug as well as a USB port, CD, DVD player, and it also Bluetooths to your phone. 12 volt flat screen TV, overhead storage as well. And then a little storage under here as well. In the titanium, you're gonna have solid surface countertops right here, as well as in the bathroom and next to the bed. So there's quite a few differences between a mountain and a titanium series. Here at Thompson RV, we do order mountain series, but we do probably 80, 90% uh, titaniums. And the reason being is we all use these trailers and we all see the value in them, whether it's the auto leveling system, the backup camera, the slide toppers, all of that is stuff that 
you could try and add to a mountain series, but in the end, it's a lot less expensive to just go ahead and get it from the factory. If you're not 100% sure on what I'm talking about, mountain versus titanium, we do have a video online uh, on the YouTube channel that you can go back and reference it's from about a year and a half ago that shows you all the differences. So each little thing that you get on a titanium uh, as opposed to a mountain. The other thing is we have videos on each floor plan. So if you're comparing this to say a 26 KVS, or maybe you're comparing this 25 RDS to a 250 RDS, you can reference any of our videos on our YouTube channel and kind of, I try to go through the differences between this versus say like a 250 RDS. So if you haven't checked out the rest of our YouTube channel, I would highly recommend it. Moving on into the bedroom. So again, like I was just saying, I go into detail on the 250 RDS video, the differences between the 25 versus the 250. The main difference is going to be right over here. You're going to get a window in the Timber Ridge model and uh, less room around the foot of the bed. In the Blackstone, you're going to get an extra foot around this bed plus a wardrobe slide out. It's also a foot longer overall, so that has to be something that you also want to tow. Um, but the 250 RDS is also a pretty cool model. So here in the bedroom, because it's a titanium, again, upgraded mattress, the front windshield, reading lights, under cabinet lighting, solid surface countertops, a bedroom TV. This particular model was ordered with two solar panels. So that's where the charge controller goes is right above the bed. We also option in Max Air Deluxe vent fans on all of the trailers here at Thompson RV. And then the other thing I need to mention is that uh, it's currently May 2022. June of 2022, Outdoors RV can no longer source the front windshields. So the front windshields have been discontinued as of June 2022. Um, personally, I love the front windshield, so I was pretty bummed when I heard that. But I mean, it boils down to they absolutely can't get them. Um, I have had some people that didn't care one way or the other because they weren't sure where to put the big pillow, uh, you know, and they didn't really didn't like it as much as I did, but whatever. So that is something that is changing for 2023 models. The other thing I want to point out is there is a storage cabinet right when you walk in the door of this model. This is unlike any other Timber Ridge. So you actually end up with a wardrobe closet here as well as a drawer. So that's not something you're going to see in another Timber Ridge. So that coupled with that pantry out near the sofa, that's what I meant by this model for its size. It has a lot of storage, but you're not sacrificing counter space and you're also not sacrificing the bathroom. So I'll show you the bathroom now and it has the big glass shower, which I love. So here in the bathroom, you get the nice corner glass shower. Um, so again, comparing this to maybe say the 24 RKS where you do get a lot of storage, that one you don't get quite as much counter space and you also don't get quite as big of a shower and bathroom, but it's also a shorter overall length. So here in the bathroom, porcelain toilet, glass shower, stainless steel underslung sink, a heat duct in the bathroom, which for cold mornings is extremely important. You get towel hooks behind the toilet, Max Air fan. The titanium comes with the makeup mirror. You also get a skylight over the shower, an air conditioner duct, and then a hardwood medicine cabinet. So with the slide out in, you can access the entire trailer with the exception of that part of the dinette and then also the TV cabinet. But you can easily walk through here, make a sandwich, cook something on the stove, get into the restroom, the fridge, really whatever you need to do while going down the road. So here on the outside, like I said, this is a two door model. The main entry is gonna be right here in the rear with the triple aluminum step. We went ahead and put out the awning today just so you could see that Outdoors RV, they always try to use the longest awning possible. I, you wouldn't believe how many trailers you'll see and it'll be a 35 foot trailer and it, it has an awning that just barely covers one door. They try and put on the longest awning that's physically possible, uh, obviously with windows and luggage door compartments and stuff like that. But um, aluminum grab bar handle at this rear door. Because it's a titanium, you're gonna get all the frameless windows along with the high gloss fiberglass exterior. 
110 outlets under your awning. So you can sit out under here if you have 110 power and plug in a stereo or something like that. But you also have 110, or excuse me, uh, outside speakers that run directly off of the stereo inside that you can Bluetooth your phone to. So you can be sitting out here listening to your phone through the outside speakers. Outdoors RV, the Timber Ridge um, comes with 15 inch wheels and tires standard. Here at Thompson RV, we option them all with the 16 inch load range E tires. Uh, ORV is gonna use the CRE 3000 suspension by More Ride, the heavy duty shackles and the bronze bushings, um, as well as off-road shocks. They call that package the Off-Road X4 package. And that is something that you definitely want on a trailer, not only for off-roading, you may never go off-road, but obviously there's potholes on the freeway. This is gonna give you the best possible ride. Coupled with their custom built chassis, you're starting with a really great foundation on this trailer. And then they build such a quality product on top of that foundation. Um, I like to refer to it more of a custom built home versus purchasing like a spec home. These are built solid from the ground up. That's gonna mean that your trailer is going to last longer. You're not gonna have problems with your cabinets or anything like that because you're getting a better ride, stronger frame when you're going down the road. Because this is a titanium, the other thing that they do is the auto leveling system. So that's not something you can get on the Mountain Series or the TRX models um, that is specific to the titanium. This is outside access to your furnace. Um, it's important to mention that if you see a trailer that all it has is this little portion of access, if something ever needs to be fixed on your furnace, you have to try and remove it from the inside. That's not easy. Uh, it's very rare that we ever work on furnaces, but if you ever need to, you've got four screws and the furnace is easily accessible. And that's just an, another thing that Outdoors RV does that's out, above and beyond. Uh, just makes it easier for you if you need it. This is gonna be the uh, rear access to your refrigerator and also venting. They have started putting in what they call a fire pit barbecue hookup. So this is called a kayak hatch. You open that up and there's a quick release LP hookup in there. So you can easily uh, hook up your barbecue or something, you know, any LP appliance right out here under the awning. This is the front entry door that goes into the bedroom. Again, triple aluminum step. One thing I failed to mention is the aluminum that wraps around the awning. So when this awning goes back in, of course it's all electric and the titanium even has a remote that runs this awning. Um, when it goes back in, it has an aluminum wrap to protect the fabric from sun damage. And then it also has the LED strip that goes the whole length of the awning. Here in the front, this is a full pass-through storage compartment. It has the rubberized diamond plate, so it's nice and, and tough. It's not cheap linoleum and it's not carpet or something like that that's gonna get ruined. This is really industrial grade. Um, this is what they use in the toy haulers, actually, in the back area to put your toys on. So this is really nice to have in your front storage compartment. And then because this is right under your bed, this is all fully insulated. So you're not gonna get cold air coming through here and up to where you're sleeping. The other thing, Outdoors RV obviously uses two inch thick sidewalls and then thicker slam latch luggage door compartment. So that's also going to keep that cold air from coming through. Magnetic catches once you open it up. In this front storage compartment, you have a battery kill switch. Uh, if you need to turn power completely off to your trailer, you also have an interior light and then you also have the auto leveling controls in here as well as in, inside. Right here, this is a solar port. So you can actually plug in up to 200 watts of portable solar in conjunction with or stand alone uh, from the roof mount panels. So the roof mount panels, you can do one, two or three 170 watt panels. They're gonna run through that 30 amp charge controller that is over the bed. This is a completely separate system. So the portable panels have a built-in charge controller on them. So it's not wired into that system. This one would have its own charge controller and go directly to the batteries. As we wrap around on the front here, the Timber Ridge comes with a full fiberglass cap. 
That's actually something that all of the Outdoors RV models come with, with the exception of the Creekside. Toy lock, this feature comes in conjunction with the rear receiver hitch, which I'll show you in a minute. That is called the mountain storage package. So it's a two inch receiver hitch on the back that holds up to 250 pounds. So if you have e-bikes or bikes or a cooler generator, whatever you want to put on the back, it'll hold up to 250 pounds. And then it comes with this toy lock. So if you leave camp, you can run this cable lock through your toys and keep them safe at camp. This particular model has battle-borne lithium batteries on it. Um, I wish it had the powder-coated aluminum locking box that I've been talking about in all my videos. Unfortunately, this one just has the, the, the plastic box. Um, we do offer a powder-coated black aluminum box with a lock on it. So if you wanna keep your battery investment protected, I would highly recommend that. We ordered this unit with the four battery tray in order to fit the bigger box. And then this one has the, like I said, the Battleborn heated lithium batteries. And then it also is equipped with a smart shunt made by Victron. And what that does is it Bluetooths to your phone, tells you how much solar power is going in, what they're charging up at. Let's say you're running your furnace, it's cold at night. It's gonna show you how much they're going down. So that's a really cool feature that we've uh, recently started adding that I'm gonna put on mine because I'm super excited about it. Um, two seven and a half gallon propane tanks with the easy access hatch. Because this has the auto leveling, it also comes with a front jack that, as you can see, is off the ground. That's the way the auto leveling works. It actually lifts that up and off. All of the outdoor RV models do come with a front power tongue jack. And they also come with this little caddy, it's kind of hard to see here, where you can hang your safety chains, your seven-way cord, and your breakaway cable when they're not in use, so they're not just laying on the ground. That's a really nice feature they started adding a couple of years ago. As we move around to this side, You've got another access to the pass-through storage compartment. Here is your black tank Santa flush. So when you have dumped your black tank and your gray tank, you can go ahead and rinse out the black tank. I always run mine until it runs all the way clear. That way it's rinsing out the tube, rinsing out the sewer hose. Um, so I actually do that last, but you can do it. Some people do gray first or black first. That's kind of personal preference. I always do my Santa flush last. Here you've got, again, kayak hatches to access your gray and black tank valve handles. Um, the reason that's kind of important, so Outdoors RV, because they're a true Four Seasons package, everything is up and enclosed under the frame. They don't have any chunks of pipe that might have fluid in them that are still hanging out there. A lot of models will tell you they've got a cold weather package or whatever they want to call it and they, have, they still have exposed pipe, so that chunk of pipe is gonna freeze. Everything on an outdoors RV is up and enclosed, but it makes it a little hard to get under there to get to the valve handle. So a couple years ago, they started adding these kayak hatches so you can easily access those handles. Here is a light in case you need to hook up and access this area in the dark. Outside shower door is fully insulated, again, it's not a true Four Seasons trailer if you have a tiny little plastic door covering your outside shower. So they actually do an insulated door on this. City water inlet. So if you're not running off the tank and the pump and you're hooked up to city water, that's where you would hook that up. Because it's a titanium, it does have the slide out topper. Um, you could call it a slide out awning, but Basically, it retracts with the slide out and also goes out with the slide out. It keeps all the debris off the top of your slide out. So technically, let's say you get a mountain series or a backcountry series, they don't come standard with it. The reason you would wanna have us add one once your trailer gets here is because technically you're supposed to get up and sweep your slide out off before you leave camp, or before, excuse me, before you put the slide out in. Because if you get dirt and debris and pine cones and stuff and then you constantly run your slide out in and out, eventually that's gonna ruin those seals. So the slide out topper takes all of that away. It just, everything rolls off the slide out topper, including water, anything. So that, in my opinion, is a must have. Um, so again, if you didn't get a titanium series, you're gonna to wanna to have that added once your trailer arrives here. Here in the back, if you are running off of tank water, you've got 80 gallons of fresh water on all the Timber Ridge models, and this is where you would fill it. Here is your um, 
where you would hook up your power cord. So all of the Timber Ridge models are going to be 30 amp. The Blackstones, Glacier Peaks, those are going to be optional 50 amp service, Glacier Peaks standard, um, and you can add the second bedroom air. With this much insulation in a trailer and dual pane windows and all of that, it's very rare that people add the second bedroom air conditioner. That would be more for like our southern states. Um, but typically, because these are so well insulated, you don't really need it. You've got cable and satellite hookup right here. Then moving around to the back, you've got the four inch bumper. Some people uh, like to put their sewer hose in here. You can do that on this model because it is a nice big bumper. Because it's a titanium, you're gonna get the backup lights and the backup camera. Everything comes with the big tube ladder. So if you've ever owned an RV, most of them come with a super flimsy ladder and they'll hold you, but it never feels like they are. So that's also super important because we do recommend that you get up on the roof and check the roof sealant just every six months. Just make sure all the caulking looks good. Um, touch it up if necessary, but you're going to want to easily be able to access your roof. Speaking of which, it's a solid plywood roof. Walk on, absolutely doesn't matter what your weight is. I get asked that a lot. There's pictures of a whole crew of guys up on these roofs. They build these trailers stronger than what you're going to typically see on an RV dealership lot. Um, so yeah, we also give you a fancy little tire cover when you come out to Pendleton. We also give you a bottle of Pendleton whiskey. That's a huge hit. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know. We all use these trailers here. So you can call and talk to me. You can call and talk to Casey or Bert, my mom, anybody here. We've all used these. We all know what we're talking about. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and give us a shout. Outdoor RV makes it very easy to winterize your own vehicle. Let me show you the access points to everything that you'll need. Underneath the kitchen sink, we have a little pole panel that you can carefully remove and get to the two water heater bypasses. You're gonna turn them 90 degrees. Right here on the other side of the kitchen sink is another pole panel that you can also access the two bypasses for the water heater, but also get to the suction line for the water pump. So if you find this hose, you can remove the plug, put that into a jug of antifreeze, follow this back and flip the lever, and now the water pump will pump through this hose and not out of the fresh water tank. The two low point drains are located underneath the bathroom sink. There's another pull panel, just carefully remove that. There might be a little piece of insulation, just carefully remove out of the floor, and the two levers will be down just underneath the floor line.